What's up guys, this is your boy Russian and we're back today with Anarchy Online and let's get ready to play. Alright, so so you guys know right now uh, I decided to go back and actually play with... Uh, I forgot the name of this class, Jesus! Alright, so I am a... Affects male shade. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm actually playing a shade right now, and the main reason is because shades and keeper classes uh, are the best for soloing. And since I'm playing this game a little erratically uh, because of my schedule, uh, I don't know how many people are gonna see around to be able to actually join parties to play. Now, very important. Um, I did, as you guys saw the last video, I got out of the 2019 server because uh, it's a pay to play and most people don't actually pay to play this game. And even the ones that do actually play on the older server and that's my case actually right now. So class like Keeper, uh, Keeper and Shade, you can only actually play those class if you actually pay for the game. And you also get all the expansions of the game. Alright, so let's see what's going on on the subway. Alright, so really quick disclaimer. Subway is probably the best place for each level around this level. I know some people like to go leveling um, on Shadowlands. I don't have that much experience on Shadowlands. So I feel I would get lost. And that's pretty much the main reason why I'm not there. Now, if you guys notice, I just glitched. That's awesome. All right, so let's see how things go. Now, one thing to pay attention is when you start getting to lower levels in in the subway, uh, you actually gonna aggro uh, their friends. So you kind of have to be careful because you're gonna be shot on the back by other characters so take care of like usually the, the ones that have aggro against you and uh, then you take care of the rest like this mugger in here so muggers always gonna attack you uh, the good thing is you get some really good stuff from this dungeon you know most for lower levels I mean yeah it's stuff that you're gonna dispose very early um, but it's a good amount of credits uh, in the most when you have nothing and you know just work from there check before I get level capped for this dungeon is so there are a couple of drops in the subway that if I'm not incorrect uh, you actually ha can use to create things uh, special products but the problem with them is they are no drop and unique. What means uh, you can't get with a different character and hand to your to your main character. So whenever you get, you need to get at this point of the game. So I need to take a look, and I'm gonna take a look tomorrow before I level cap for this. Before I go to the Temple of Four Winds, and I'll figure out to let you guys know. Just something to keep in mind. Alright guys, so something else that is very important, the most if you are a enforcer. So you have that support being of intolerance. This weapon alone for enforcers in the most, they can pretty much carry you for a good bit of the game until you get something better from the Temple of Two Winds. So if you guys you know if you're playing the game and you come to the subway, that's a weapon for you guys to pay attention. Alright. Now it's unique, which is fine. I can still sell, which is great. And the most important thing is the damage. It's kind of a slow weapon, but not too slow, and it hits from 9 to 80 damage. So, really good if you're playing Forcer, uh, pretty much anything with two handed blunt weapons. Alright? Just keep in mind. Alright, guys, so now this is an area that uh, I love and love to hate. 
because pretty much everything gonna aggro you and I should be high enough as long as I don't pull a lot of uh, of those spiders towards me or those infectors because those things gonna chase us two of them that's just wrong all right so as you see I'm gonna die if I don't start running away right now not for me. Also, the problem is my web's okay, but it's nothing special. I need to literally get the hell out of here. So it should be far enough. That's fine. Let me try to get this thing. See if it doesn't kill me. Probably still a little bit too high. I need to go back a little bit. So pretty much in this dungeon, the farther you go, the higher level your enemies get. So. You know, you go too far, start seeing those reds, you're not strong enough, you're not an enforcer, that can take a big amount of damage. Um, just go back a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if I have to, or if I can take this down, but that's the thing. If this battle takes too long, I'm just wasting my time. I'm not going to get enough XP to actually, you know, allow for the amount of time I'm losing that battle. Alright, so my inventory and my survival backpack are almost full, so it's time for me to go outside and sell some of that stuff and maybe, maybe, just maybe, I can be lucky enough to get a piercing weapon. Now, Subway is great if you are um, an enforcer, but if you're not, you may have a little bit of problem getting something decent as weapons go. All right, so let's see what I can get. All right, so after taking a long look and finding uh, the weapons here at my level, I realized that there's nothing that is just right for me uh, when it goes to level-wise for those weapons. So, yep, I'm stuck with what I have until I find something better. Now, also, let me keep in mind, getting weapons from the stores uh, I do know there are some special ones that actually they're not that special you just you can create a better weapon using them um, but besides for that not really a thing uh, to buy weapons in stores it's better to just farm now they have some locations with better weapons special weapons uh, I'll try to eventually include some of those places in the videos as I'm showing you some of the locations in the game but yeah really not worth it sometimes you don't have a choice because you're just not causing enough damage and yeah you probably gonna have to go buy something but try to avoid that uh they usually cost a lot i don't know if things change and they have some special weapons in there but nothing really that calls my attention at least for right now all right, oh my god, I hate this part because it's very hard to attract just one of them. And if I attack, those guys are actually pretty strong for me. Let me try to take care of this guy first, if I stop sitting. <coughs> then I can try to take care of the other ones. Because don't take me wrong, those guys are a pain now. They do uh, give some... Uh, they have some equipment for fixers, if I'm not correct. Uh, if I'm not wrong. And that's the padded love suits. But it's great for fixers. I mean, I think that's fixer only, actually. Uh, so I can't use, but I could probably put it in the bank and, uh, you know, eventually make a fixer and I already have it.
All right, this guy just froze. <laughs> okay. Uh, no idea where his body is, so let me take a look in here. Nope. Um, he was eaten by the wall. That's all right. Uh, probably underneath me. Now let's try to attack this guy without pulling the other ones. That gonna be a trick. Let me try to use a sneak attack. Well, I guess two of them. This guy is not even feeling it. It's not gonna. It's glitching somehow. It, I, I can tell because they're not moving. Um, not really showing their attack. So I think the best thing for me is just run away from here before I die. Not too too far, just far enough that I can heal. And I'm seeing combat somehow, even if they didn't follow me. So let me go a little bit farther. I mean, those guys. Oh, there we go. People are already showing up, hitting me. Okay. Too many people. Come on. Run away! Oh, God. Okay, come on. Get the hell away from here. Uh. What the hell? This guy just fell dead. Okay. Not a good place. <coughs> yeah, that's the problem. Find the stairs. And usually, I always remember them being the other side. So, okay. Let me try to see. They're not following me, hopefully. I need to heal a little bit. And there we go. Okay. Alright guys, so as I seem to have frozen while exiting the subway, uh, let me give you a couple of final thoughts. So, one of the main things, subway, great place to level uh, with people and with HOTS. So, HOTS, a lot of the things, uh, some of your buffs would be great for me to have. Back in the day, it was a lot easier. You just walked anywhere, people would just randomly buff you up. Uh, you do have, it seems, a good crowd of people playing right now. Uh, I probably could have walked up to them and asked. Now, the other choice, and that's something I'm going to probably try to do, is a carry. So, a carry is pretty much like make multiple accounts because you can have multiple instances of this game run at the same time uh, through different accounts. So, pretty much have them uh, join up, get missions, and pretty much take team missions. Basically because that will give you better equipment a lot of times uh, by killing some of those team bosses. So, and you can probably get hots from your own characters in the other accounts. So, that's probably what I'm going to try to do for the next video. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to do those carries and how to run multiple in instances. But it's pretty much, it's very simple, uh, but how to do that in a better way. Alright guys, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, it wasn't exactly how I planned for this video, uh, it just, you know, you don't have the right buffs, you're not so, you're not fast enough, you're not, you don't hit hard enough, and with the amount of credits I have, also doesn't help. So, anyway guys, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and this is your boy Rusian, telling you like always, I'll see you in the game.